Hey y'all, welcome back. Number 12 says, which of the following is not equivalent to 3x minus 12 times x plus 4? So one way you could approach this, and you can do this a lot when you're trying to compare expressions on a multiple choice question, is just to pick some value for x, substitute it in here. So for example, let's say I pick the number uh, 2, right? And I input all this in my calculator. I say, all right, well, what's... 3 times 2 minus 12 times 2 plus 4. So I just replaced x with 2. I can put that in my calculator. And what would I get here? 2 times 3 is 6. 6 minus 12 would be negative 6 times 6. I get negative 36, right? So what, one way how I can check to see whether or not these are going to give me the same answer is just plugging in that same x value that you choose. Pick a small, easy to work with number and see if I get the same thing. So if I plug in 2 here, and I plug in 2 here, and all this, I'll, I'll, I can check, uh, make a quick little check to see uh, whether or not these are equivalent or not. Now, algebraically, another way we can approach this is notice how this uh, first binomial here, this 3x minus 12, that actually has a greatest common factor, meaning both 3 and 12 are divisible by the number 3. So what we can do is something that is kind of like doing the distributive property, but in reverse, and factor out that greatest common factor. In other words, divide out that 3 and, and go from there. So if I factor out that 3, I have 3 times x minus 4 times x plus 4. Okay, so I'm looking at these answer choices. It doesn't really look like any of them, so I'm going to keep going. Um, from here, I can multiply these two together, okay? So I can use FOIL or the distributive property. Essentially, what I want to do is just multiply x times x, um, and then x times 4, okay? So I'll start with that. So 3 times x times x is going to be x squared. Um, x times 4 is going to be plus 4x. But I also need to distribute the second term in the first binomial to be the i and the l in FOIL, if you're familiar with that. So negative 4 times x and then negative 4 times 4 would give me minus 4x and then minus 16. So here we can combine our like terms and notice how 4x minus 4x um, is 0, right? So these are just go away. And so now we have x squared minus 16, which we see in choice B. Right, now, we want to be careful here. Uh, it's not saying which of the following is equivalent. It's saying which of the following is not equivalent. So we can see that B definitely is equivalent. And that kind of gives us our answer because A is exactly the same as B, except it's got this minus 8x here, which is incorrect. Right? We had negative 4x plus 4x should be 0. So since this one is not the same, we can go ahead and say with certainty that A is going to be our answer. But just to double check C and D real quick, um, if I multiply this 3 back in, so if I distribute the 3 here, multiply 3 by x squared and 3 by negative 16, I get 3x. Oh, if I can type it out, there we go. 3x squared minus 48. So we can say, okay, well, C is also equivalent. Right? These are the same as the original expression. D is probably going to be easier to actually work from the answer choice back and distribute the 3x and the negative 12 rather than trying to figure out how they came up with this expression. Um, really what's going on with this expression is um, it looks like they're sort of in the middle of factoring using grouping. Um, but you don't really need to, to, to factor by grouping here. Instead, what, what I'm going to do is distribute both of these. That's going to give me 3x squared uh, plus 12x minus 12x uh, minus 48. And then the plus 12x minus 12x is just going to be 0. So we get 3x minus 48, which is the same as C. So all of these three answer choices, B, C, and D, are equivalent expressions 
the original one, the only one that's not is A. But I do want to go back to um, sort of the easier way of approaching this, and that is just to pick a number, like 2, um, and plug it into X, right? You get this value. I think we said it was 36 or negative 36, something like that. And you plug in that same X value that you chose for this one, so whether it be 2 or whatever number you decide, and plug it into all the other X values. And what you're going to see is that B, C, and D are all going to give you the same number once you plug it in and throw it in your calculator, and A will give you something different for most X values. Now, if you choose an X value and they all look to be the same, um, then just pick a different one, and you'll, you'll eventually come up with one. It shouldn't take more than like one or two guesses uh, to come up with one that's going to give you the answer. So anyway, that's all for number 12. Thanks for watching, and y'all have a great day.